Hello YouTubers, this is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions and today I'm going to talk about apps. Uh, I got my Android devices here and I got some Windows devices here. So we're going to discuss apps and uh, what specific apps that I use and we're going to explore the apps that people always question about the Windows platform. So get your popcorn ready, we're going to talk about apps. Let's go. Hello guys, this is Eric again with another video. Today I'm going to explore apps uh, on both platforms, uh, on the Android platform and the Windows platform. I got the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus 2015 flagship boss hog of the Android world. And I got the uh, Microsoft Lumia 950 XL, again, boss hog flagship. As you watch my videos, I keep all my Android devices pretty clean. Uh, what my Syncs logo and all the apps pretty much the same and also all my Windows devices guys If you watch my videos that you can see that all my Windows devices is pretty much uniform. So Let's go on and dig a little deeper uh, into uh, the app platform All right, so let's talk about some Google services here as you may know that the Microsoft platform do not have the Google services uh, do not have hangouts uh, do not have Google Maps. Do not have uh, all the Google Hangout services that you're looking for. So let's talk a, a little bit about what the Microsoft platform does have. All right, so again, you can always use the Edge browser to go to google.com, go to your Gmail, uh, Yahoo, all your mail. So, uh, you know, you can kind of use that uh is supplemental uh, to the Google services. All right, so uh, let's talk about maps for a second. Uh, the, uh, Android and iOS has Google Maps. iOS has uh, Apple Maps, and Windows have what's called Here Maps. Uh, so the maps is the same. Uh, if you look at that, it looks great. Uh, again, uh, let's go on and explore uh, some of the. Uh, apps here so uh, when you look at this here uh, basically have voice assistants both of them uh, look really good uh, and uh, so the difference between here and there is by the wash so yes it does have the maps all right so let's go on it and talk a little bit about mail again uh, and uh, the mail portion, I have Gmail, which I have all my mails integrated into a Gmail account. Uh, but on the Windows platform, we have Outlook. So basically, Outlook looks very, very good. And it has, if you go down and you turn it sideways, it does have that uh, split pane view uh, when you looking at your mail. All right. And the same thing with here. Let's make sure. Let's look at that all right so again uh, kind of a difference in uh, the uh, mail platform here so I was kind of get let you guys see that that uh, the mail client on uh, the Microsoft has a double plane versus uh, Android has just a single plane all right so and it probably have other map clients on Android that will have that as far as double playing. All right, so that's the Google app services kind of supplementing that with the Windows platform. All right, so school. Uh, my school application, it uh, has what's called, I have all my school stuff, my OneDrive, my PowerPoint, my uh, Excel spreadsheet, stuff like that, calculated, all that good stuff. So basically both platforms have the same apps uh, when it comes down to Word, PowerPoint, um, uh, OneDrive, Evernote. I have Evernote on both devices. Uh, I have OneDrive on both devices. I have all the cloud services on both devices. So uh, when it comes down to those apps, my school apps is cross-platform on both devices. All right, so I have what's called a business folder. And it's kind of miscellaneous stuff. Uh, with Amazon, uh, I have Craigslist. And again, Amazon and Craigslist is on both platforms. 
All right, so that's a wash. We do have uh, Craigslist and we do have uh, Amazon on both platforms. So, uh, and again, I put some other stuff on here like in Tutu and and Tutu Benchmark is cross platform. So those apps are there. All right, so social. This is important. A lot of people. Uh, well, I want to make sure people understand that the social apps. When it comes down to Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Periscope, all those social apps, even Uber, is on the Microsoft platform. Uh, so Microsoft have Twitter. I'm using, actually, I'm using the browser of Twitter, but they do have Tweetum. Uh, they have Instagram. Uh, they have Six Tag. Uh, they have uh, everything cross platform so all your social media apps are on both devices all right so uh and music i have pandora pandora is on both devices so i do have pandora on both devices now no i do not have play music uh, that's a google service all right but i have groove service here also i have the xbox music uh, on uh, the uh, Microsoft platform. So uh, that's kind of uh, all the apps there. All right, so let's talk about gaming for a second, all right? Uh, on my the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus, I really don't game too much, so I do not have a lot of games on here. But on the Windows platform, let's talk about games. I have Dead Trigger 2, I have Asphalt 8, I have uh, Plants and Zombies, Modern Combat 4, Modern Combat 5. Games uh, that I like uh, is cross-platform here. All right, so again, uh, kind of going over the apps a little bit, but let's go ahead and explore uh, the store, uh, both stores here, and let's look at some of the games that you guys uh, may be looking for here. So, yes, both uh, app stores has uh, uh, its featured items on its front page. Uh, if you look here, down deeper, uh, it has uh, its games, uh, essential games, and it has a games here uh, in the app store, and it has its free apps, just like the Google Play Store. It has all kinds of up and coming and stuff like that. So both app stores are, are pretty good, as you can see here. You got What's App and all that good stuff there. Uh, and if you go down, you got your top free games. Uh, what you, you you got your Candy Crush and, and all those good games there. Uh, so it, and it has your music and movies and stuff. So the, the uh, Microsoft platform is definitely integrated and it has everything basically the same when you're comparing to the app store here. Now, let's understand this much. Does it have the, the thousands and thousands and thousands of apps that's on iOS and Android? No. But most of the games and most of the apps that I'm looking for is here on the Microsoft platform. Uh, so let's again let's go and explore uh, some of the apps here. Uh, so to kind of give some examples here, uh, you got Adobe Photoshop. So let's see if Adobe Photoshop is on the Windows platform. So let's go on and now they got Adobe uh, uh, Reader. Uh, there you go, Adobe Photoshop Express. So Adobe Photoshop is uh, here on the Windows platform. Uh, so other apps here, Angry Birds. So let's check and see if Angry Birds is here on the Windows platform. All right, so let's go to dig a little deeper. Yes, yeah, you do have Angry Birds. All the Angry Birds is here uh, on the Windows platform. So uh, the Windows platform does have Angry Birds. Just by the chance y'all guys was looking for Angry Birds. All right, so yes, it has all the apps there. And I kind of want to go into detail about that because a lot of people assume that uh, the the uh, Windows platform doesn't have any apps. So I just want to let y'all guys see this. Uh, and then again, if you have any questions, I'll do a part two of the app gap 
type series between iOS, Android, and Windows. I want to kind of give you guys a cont kind of a part one of the app series here that I'm going to uh, continue to do uh, as far as comparing the Windows 10 platform against Android. Uh, this is Eric B's Computer Solutions, guys. Leave your questions down below. Let me know what you think about both of these platforms. If you have any questions for part two of the apps, if you're looking, searching for some of the apps, uh, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, this is Eric B's Computer Solutions. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.